Today, I would like to talk about an advanced feature. And if you look at this digital multimeter, you'll see it has a button that says REL and it has a delta symbol. That's a relative mode or what's often called a delta mode. And it's a really, really advanced feature and it's kind of interesting to work with. So let's take a minute and we'll explore it. I've got my digital multimeter with relative delta mode. I have a couple of resistors and then something I want to read. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to drop the desk down here and we'll do a little experiment at a little lab with this and you'll see how it works. But let me read you this first. This is delta or relative mode. And it says delta mode, also known as relative mode, is a feature available on some digital multimeters that allows you to measure the difference or change in a value relative to a reference point. When you activate the delta mode on a DMM, it captures the quantity and stores it as a reference value. Any subsequent measurements will be displayed as the difference between the new reading and the stored reference value. This mode is useful when you want to measure changes in a single a signal or when you want to eliminate the effect of a known offset or baseline value. But let's put that into Mitch speak. The way I say it is this, it blanks out part of the measurement you don't want to see. It's a very, very interesting feature and it's, you're able to use it on either voltage measurement mode, current measurement mode, or resistance measurement mode. And in our case, we're going to use it on resistance measurement mode. As you can see, we have our lab set up. I've got the digital multimeter set up and I have, it, I have ohms selected so we can take uh, resistance measurement and you can see we're showing OL because we're out of range right now the, the meter is not catching any kind of measurement and I have two resistors here these are rated at 100 ohms of resistance on each one of them although they're not quite that but they're connected in series with my little alligator clip and the first thing I want to do is get a measurement of the two resistors in series to see what the value is so let me do that And you can see we've captured a measurement and it's showing 199.8, uh, close to two, 200 ohms, we'll call it 200 ohms, 199.9 right now. And that's the two in series. If I select just the first resistor, we can catch the value of that. And you can see the value of that is around 102 ohms. So the first resistor is 102 hooked together in series, we get 200 ohms. And what I'm going to do is we'll take a measurement of the first one, I will select delta mode, and when I do, the meter will not look for that on the second measurement. So let me show you how that works. So this will be a little difficult for me. Let me get this, my leads put down on here. And you can see we've got 101.8 ohms, there's 102. So I hit the relative button and it beeped, I don't know if you could hear that. So now I'm in relative mode. And when I take my next measurement, I'm going to do the series measurement of the two resistors, it will basically blank out that first resistance and not see it anymore. It made it go away, basically. It kind of, it kind of blanks it out. And there you can see the second resistor is showing 97.6 ohms. It ignores the resistance of the first resistor. And so uh, that's kind of how del re del or delta relative mode works. Let me shut this thing off again, or get it out of relative mode again. And I'll take another measurement back in its normal resistant measurement mode. And you can see we're back to reading 200 ohms. So it's kind of a valuable feature if you need to, for some reason, blank out part of a, a reading that you want to, so you can see what's going on with the other part of the circuit. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out the links we have below. Come back for new videos. We should be adding content each week. And finally, visit the Taking Measure website.